Well, hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here. And today I'm on a Disney vacation. You know what that means if you have been a subscriber of this channel for the last year or so. That means we're going to do a little walkthrough today. We are going to do a tour of the resort that I'm staying at. And this time in the past, we have covered quite a few deluxe resorts, moderate resorts. And today we are going to uh, do something a little bit different. We're going to actually cover a value resort here on the channel, which we have covered a few value resort resorts, you know, in the last year or so. Pop Century, Art of Animation are both value resorts, but the All-Star resorts are definitely the cheapest out of all of them. You're gonna spend less money to stay here on Disney property at an All-Star resort than any other uh, property here at Walt Disney World. And that's what this video is really gonna show you. Is this right for you or not? This might be a good, good time for you if it's the first time you've ever come to disney world you want to save a little bit of money this is a good option so that being said let's start with our tour right now all right my friends right here is the entrance to all-star movies and if you are coming in via the airport that means mirrors connect you will actually be dropped off right over here in this area and then if you are driving when you come in, right here is check-in parking if you need to do that, or you can just do mobile check-in, which is pretty handy when you get close to Walt Disney World. You can do mobile check-in, and they will actually give you a notification telling you your room is ready, and they will give you your room number, and that is pretty handy dandy because then you don't have to go here. You can actually look at your map on your My Disney Experience app and just figure out, it'll show you the lay of the land, and it can you can go straight to the room. So you won't even have to mess mess around with all the check-in business right here. All right, so now we're just gonna kind of pan to the right. And this here is your bus stops. This here is all the bus stops down through here. This is gonna take you to all the Disney theme parks. There are actually six theme parks. You got four parks and two water parks. So all that business will be taken care of. And they have signs down through there that will take you to that said park as this first sign right here as you can see right here in the middle of the picture it says magic kingdom and then the rest of them will be noted as wherever you're going epcot animal kingdom hollywood studio it's all they got signage all the way down through there to help you out on what bus goes where and the buses are really really uh, reliable they're about every 15 minutes you'll see a bus uh coming from that said park to tick to pick you up or if you're at the park to go come back to the resort, about 15 minutes normally will get you there. And then right here we have another one for your departure. This is for the airport shuttle. This is where the Mirrors Connect will come and park at your time when you're supposed to leave to go to the airport. So uh, just keep that in mind. That's pretty important stuff when you're ready to go home. So now we are going to move in this direction and uh, go inside the lobby and take a look at the food court area. All right, friends, as you come through the double doors and we go to the left, you have this right here. This is called Double Feature. This here is the store here on property where you can go inside and get all kind of Disney items. You can see they have all kinds of items in here, some shirts up there on the wall. They got all kind of pillows, like plushy pillows. And of course, you can also buy yourself some Mickey ears right here in the store you don't even have to go to the park they got you hooked up right here in the store they also have toys here in the store also have a little toy story action going on they have all kinds of items here they have star wars items as you can see right there's a little cute grogu right down here some mandalorian stuff we got all kinds of star wars goodness and of course can't have Star Wars items unless you got Darth Vader. Back here in the back of the store, we have all kind of snacks and candies and cakes and stuff for your stay, where you know you don't even have to leave Disney property. You can just come here and do a little bit of shopping. I can't recommend that over because of course it's gonna be a little bit more expensive here, but if you did lose something or you're just having a, a midnight snack hankering, and you want something a sweet treat to kind of tie you over like you didn't get enough sugar at the parks uh here's where you would come so i definitely want to just show you everything give you a good idea of this what's here because they do have some medicines and things like that if you have young ones and other adult items that you may need during your stay even they even got benadryl right there you go you got some benadryl so uh, right here is all kind of chips and then over here we have you know, a little bubbly. We got some adult items here. 
that they have on staff. They've got Coca-Colas, Monster Energies, even though I don't drink those, but hey, everybody's got their own thing, right? And we got vitamin water, Coke products, and there's some milk. If you happen to have some cereal and some little Deli Fresh for your stay and Lunchables. There we go. All right, my friends, so that was a quick little run through in Donald's Double Feature Store. We look over here to the right, we got some movie posters up here on the wall. And then as I scan around, this here is guest services area. This is where you will come check in. They have some comfortable areas over here if you have to wait for your room or you're waiting for uh, Mears Connect to come pick you up to take you to the airport. A lot of cool stuff. And then in this direction over here, we have the world premiere food court. So let's walk in there and look at some of the food items that they have available to eat. Because when you come to Disney World, eating is a big part of your vacation. Alright, so here we are in the food court. Right here is the Majestic. They have all kinds of good food items up there. They can make pancakes. I'll try to zoom in up there where you can see them. I know it's a little glowy right now, but yeah, they got pancakes up there and some Mickey waffles, bacon, sausage, all that good stuff. They got some croissants. And then right over here, they have a little bit of the same. But I think the Roxy over here is the big deal. So now I've made my way over here to the Roxy. And the Roxy is where I've been getting most of my breakfast when I've eaten here on property. They have the pancake bounty platter. And <laughs> that looks really, really good. Or you can just get pancakes and bacon here. And then right over here, if you're more of an omelet person, they have some omelets. They have a bowl right there with like gravy all over it. I've not tried that yet, but who knows, maybe this morning when I eat my breakfast, maybe that's what I get and uh, give that a try because it does look really good. And if you're not wanting like this type of breakfast food, they have some more options right over here. I'm ready to look at it now. Here is some of the snack items they have over here and then they got all kind of like sweet treats and muffins, pastries. We got some coffee cake over here if you enjoy that with some coffee in the mornings for breakfast. Kind of give you an idea of what kind of the prices look like. They do have some donuts, all kinds of cookies. And uh, check out that chocolate croissant right there. That actually looks mighty, mighty good. We got some cinnamon rolls. Then right over here we have an apple danish. That looks pretty tasty. Also have a cherry danish right there. And then they have just some regular croissants down here at the bottom. Then right here we have an assortment of dried cereals like Frosted Flakes, Raisin Bran, Apple Jacks, Corn Flakes, Fruit Loops. And then a little healthier down here we have like Special K. And then down there they have Rice Krispies. Then you can kind of move around here. Right here they have like a beer and wine area for your pleasure. And then we have waters, more Coke products, orange juices if you're an orange juice drinker, not a coffee drinker for breakfast. They got you covered with different juices, apple juice. Then right over here we have some of our ham and cheddar sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. They have assortment of different salads and things like that. If you're not wanting to eat a hamburger or a slice of pizza or a hot dog for a change, maybe a little bit of healthier option is always a good way to go. And then over here they have a more salads with like shrimp on them. They have yogurt. They have fruit cups. They got you covered. And right over here is some more different yogurt styles. And then we have more waters and drinks and stuff over there on that side. So now we're going to make our way right here next to the Roxy. We have a pretty cool spot. This here's where you're going to get all your Joffrey's coffees. They have lattes and mochas. And then they have other sweet treats. They have all kinds of cupcakes here available or you can just get a whole Mickey Mouse cake you know you can get a chocolate one or a white chocolate one they got you covered and this right here is another cupcake this is actually a plant-based cupcake if you're into that type of thing they definitely have it here and check that out that's kind of cute that like Mickey Dome cake right there is pretty cool and then right here is some of their ice creams that they have over there they're actually scooping right here is some of their flavors that you can choose for that. So uh, I actually tried their ice cream just last night when we come back from the parks and it was pretty good because I got the brownie sundae and I got like cookies and cream and vanilla with the brownies and some hot fudge. My wife helped me eat it and it was really delicious. And before we leave the food court area, I have to tell you about these cups right here. These cups right here, I think are a great value. Uh, you can actually purchase this cup for $24 and through the duration of your stay, even if it's a week or whatever, 
you can get all the coke products you want refilled every single day also coffee water hot chocolate i think this is a great way to save money when you're here on property because drinks up there are very expensive to buy one at a time you're probably spending over three three to four dollars a pop every time you get a, a coca-cola or a drink or something so this right here if you're staying for extended days i would say even three or four days I would definitely purchase one of these because this right here is a lifesaver. You fill it up, they have washing stations. I'm gonna go show you that right now because I'm gonna show you the drink area. So, but I definitely wanted to put this out there to help you save some money if, you've never, if you don't know about them. So this here is a great option when you're staying here on Disney property. And that goes for any resort. I would always, if I'm staying four days or longer, you know, and you're gonna be here at the resort using the drinks and eating food, this right here is a great option. So when you're here on property, right there is the cleaning stations. They got two of them, as you see that young lady actually using them. And then right over here is your drinks, your ice maker. And this here is all the Coke products that they have available here to use in your cups. And I think that is really awesome. They also have coffee items too. They have some tea right here. And the coffee is over here on this side. And right here is the Joffrey's coffee maker. And then right there next to it is the hot chocolate. And the hot chocolate is awesome. I mean, I, I have drink my fair share already of just the hot chocolate. It's so good. My friends, that right there was the food court. And now we're going to walk in this direction. As you can see, the swimming pool is right ahead of us. And right here is the arcade that they have here on property. And they have a lot of good games in here. And this thing has been a very popular area in the evening hours. They have all kinds of cool stuff. And of course, as Disney fashion at all the resorts I've been to and the arcades that I go into, they always have the world's largest Pac-Man here available. And I've come down here the other night and actually played this a little bit myself. And uh, gotta say, it was a lot of fun, really cool. And then right over here we have nitro trucks we got a little bit of team racing nascar style team racing has a lot of cool stuff right here you see all the cool games they have this is actually a bigger arcade than it looks until you actually walk in oh man this is going back a little bit right here that's sega afterburn i used to play this game when i was a kid but this looks like a, a better version of it way more updated a lot of cool looking pinball games they got in here we have tron you have avatar Pirates of the Caribbean, got some Star Wars, and they got Guardians of the Galaxy. Really, really cool. All right, my friends, now we are going to make our way outside. We have all that stuff covered. And right up here, we have the swimming pool area right ahead of us. And the pool hours are from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. in the morning. And this is it, and it's, it's very much of a kind of a Fantasia style pool, as you can see the Fantasia Mickey right there in the middle with the water shooting out as he's on the mountain top. That's kind of cool. All right, right here we have a directory, kind of show you the lay of the land here. We have, uh, we are right here in Cinema Hall area. We just looked at the swimming pool. You can see the UR here right there. So now we're going to kind of head in this direction and go over here to 101 Dalmatians and go on over to Mighty Ducks. And then we're going to circle back and then head back to Fantasia, Love Bug, and then we have finished up over there in toy story because that's where i'm staying so if you stick around to the end of the video i will definitely show you my room and give you a little room tour uh to kind of let you know what it looks like because these rooms here at the resort has been renovated in the last few years so they look a lot different probably than maybe they did you know back pre-2020 all right friends as you can see right there is a fire hydrant and what loves fire hydrants more than puppies and dogs and this here is the area this here is 101 Dalmatians, as you can see, this very over large themed Dalmatian right here in the center of the screen. And so the, what the what these fire hydrants are doing, they're just hiding the steps as they go up. You know, it's, it's really cool and really neatly themed right here. So uh, we're just gonna push forward as we follow the bones as they have different colored bones and stuff walking along the pathway here. So uh, this is gonna be adventure for me too because I have not walked over here yet. So uh, we're gonna do that together today. This here is pretty daggone awesome. 
just look at the size of these statues of these dogs. Look at that. These things are enormous. How cool is this? And then look right over here. We have like this little puppy one. Uh, you can, it's like a photo op. You can actually get inside the television like you're inside the TV and the dog's watching you. And then right here, look at this. That is awesome. That is so cool. So now we're going to move on through 101 Dalmatians and make it down here to the Mighty Ducks. I actually think there's another swim pool to look at when we get down there. So let's head in that direction real quick. So right here's the photo op. <laughs> so here we are at the duck pond pool area. So let's give a little stroll around here and see what we can see. So we're back here at Mighty Ducks on the opposite side of the pool. You can actually see they have these very cool themed hockey sticks up against the uh, kind of the banisters. And then over here we have a hockey mask or the actual emblem that was on the jersey in the movie. Very oversized kind of hiding the entrance to the building. And then right over here we have the swimming pool area. We have Goofy is like the goalie over here. I think that is pretty cool. And then I wanted to kind of make my way over here into uh, on building number two and kind of show you they have skates. They actually have some skates here on the on the banister railing here and then hiding the stairs itself is a really big goal for a hockey match. So that is well themed and pretty cool and I just want to show that to you. All right, my friends, we just left Mighty Ducks and 101 Dalmatians. I have came back here to my you are here position and now we're going to head back here and look at Fantasia and work our way back to Love Bug. That is the next two areas we're going to go check out. All right, friends, now we have made it back here into the Fantasia area and look at this huge Mickey Sorcerer hat. That is just really, really cool looking right there. And they have the mops holding the buckets of water. So magical looking, really oversized and pretty awesome. Then they have like some some toy soldiers we have some ballerina over here and they also have a photo op back here along with the donald duck and daisy duck right here and then right over here is the fire pit because at disney at all the resorts one thing they always do is they have roasting we do a little bit of marshmallow roasting as i get out of the sun right there that's pretty bright we're gonna do a little bit of marshmallow roasting at night they do some s'mores out here once it gets dark in the evening hours or maybe if it's in the summer it won't be so dark probably around about six o'clock normally is when they do that you will have to check on the time when you get here because i think it changes a little bit season to season so hey that'd be something fun to do i've done it before it is a lot of fun because the marshmallows and stuff are free but the the uh if you do s'mores they have little packets that you can buy them you they charge you a, a small fee for that so uh, just keep that in mind so now that we have seen the fantasia area look at that bucket god that thing is so monstrous we're going to move straight on back because i see herbie the love bug back there so we got to go back there and check out herbie because i'm sure there's a cool photo op because I think I see a, a winter circle back there with Herbie the Love Bug. So let's go check him out. All right, we have made it down here to Herbie the Love Bug, but I do want to show you one last thing about Fantasia. Look how they hide their stairs down here. They actually have the big Fantasia book hiding the steps. That is very neatly themed. And now down here, Herbie, look at all the, we have the open end wrenches, things like that, some tools kind of going down through there we've got a screwdriver and then boom there is the man herbie the love bug in the winter circle let's go down there and take a little bit closer look at that and here we are the old vw bug number 53 right here is herbie in winter circle and yes he won first place that is cool. This here says Winter Circle. This is the actual car that was used in the Magic Kingdom parades from 1978 to 1990. That is pretty darn cool. So we have some real Disney history, a relic from the past right here at the resort that you can come up and see. Maybe take your take a photo with Herbie the Love Bug. Who knows? Really cool stuff down here. And then look at Herbie, the oversized Herbie, the love bug, actually jumping out of the wall. <laughs> that is so cool looking. Right over there is the front end of Herbie. And then if we just pan around here, right here is the tail end of Herbie. Even says Herbie, Herbie right there. Pretty cool in his life's play. All right, so that kind of wraps up Herbie, the love bug area. 
Now we're gonna move back up poolside, and then we're gonna head down to where I stayed at, down in the Toy Story area. All right, friends, we are back up here in front of Cinema Hall. Now we are gonna head down into the final location. That's Toy Story, this is where I stayed at. We're gonna take a quick tour of that, and then I'm gonna show you the room. All right, my friends, before we leave the pool area, I kind of want to turn around here and show you the Silver Screen and Spirits Bar. This is a place that serves alcohol or adult beverages. I just put it that way. And they have a few little knickknack and like food items and stuff you can order here. All kind of like mixed drinks and things like that. And then I kind of want to show you this right here is where we are headed. Right here is the toy story area that we're going to go check out but right here to the left before you walk down into the toy story area you have the real spot and this is where they will show movies they have all big movie theater right here like a projection screen probably like a 150 inch screen there it's pretty it's pretty big and uh, you can go in there and watch movies in the evening and it's really nice matter of fact let's just walk over there and i'll show you the seating and stuff and how everything's set up here it is this here is where they show the movies in the evening you can see they actually have a projector up there right up here is the screen that will come down and uh, they actually have each day they show a different movie so they actually have it on here like on sunday they will show at this time of year this is very appropriate santa claus so uh, they have each day they show a different film in the evening for friends and family to stand here we have some indiana jones and then down here on saturdays they have the empire strikes back episode five which i'll go ahead and be honest with you that is my favorite star wars movie is empire strikes back love that film that is so good all right so now we are ready to head down the hill and check out our our last little area toy story we gonna go see Woody, Buzz Lightyear. They're all down here. So let's go check it out. It's gonna be cool. Right there is the real spot where we just exited and check out the buckets. These are the facades that hide the stairs here in Toy Story Land. As you can see, they have the army men adorned on the top of the roofs all the way around. Really cool looking. We also have some oversized chess pieces here that you can play with they have checkers over here a little foosball table action and i'm going to tell you something in the evening when i'm coming down through here either going to eat or we're going back to the park or something this is a hot spot there's a lot of people that's been out here this uh, week you know taking advantage of playing these oversized games check out this car right here that's like a we used to call these grasshoppers when I was a kid remote control car it looked like that I never got one but I always wanted one I always thought that was so cool little photo out there your young one can actually sit in there and take a picture really cool we have I would imagine that Sheriff Woody his emblem up there on the side of the banister then right over here we have some ping pong and this has been another hot spot even though it don't like the cast members have brought the balls out here today because they will normally be uh, sitting right down in here they will have quite a few ping pong balls I'm, i bet you they go through a lot of them because nobody really comes down here and observes <laughs> you know it's kind of like use as you will type of a thing and their balls flying everywhere so uh that's pretty cool all right let's move on. all right now we are getting closer to my room this oversized door is not my room this is actually andy's room and it says keep out except molly on it if you can see that look how large this door is andy's door is huge this thing is monstrous it does not move it is stationary but i have noticed a lot of people taking advantage of it and uh, getting some pictures as we look to the right right here is a uh, oversized woody really cool we have some uh, more characters from the movie that little bo peep maybe and then right over here, we have the dinosaur. And look here, look who showed up. You know who those boots belong to, don't you? Buzz. I think he is so cool. I love his colors. He's that Tim Allen that played Buzz. To infinity and beyond. I love the theming down here. I was so happy when I found out we would stand down here in this area because it just looks so amazing. 
and there's so many cool photo opportunities back here you know that's one thing i can say about the other lands they didn't have all this stuff the other areas of the hotel didn't have all this cool stuff everywhere and this here is an oversized like checkerboard but these do not move they they actually you can actually set on them and uh have you a photo op and right here as you can see has a really cool window this must be andy's window here on the opposite side of where we came in from the door over there so a lot of good stuff and right there it actually spells out woody on these blocks i know the sun's not helping me out too much it's kind of dark but you can see the w and the o's woody and there is woody right there look how big his boots are i mean this thing is humongous kind of sad they got to put this railing this guard up i don't know if this has always been here or not because i've never stayed at this said resort back in the day when we used to come to disney we would always save money and come to the value resorts because we were how do you say park people we came to the parks and we stayed at the parks okay i only came back to my resort to sleep that was it that's all i wanted to do is sleep so uh we always save a dollar or two by staying at a value resort now that's changed over the years as i've done everything the park has to offer now i do like to take go to moderate resorts and to the deluxe resorts and spend a little bit more time at the resorts and then go to the parks early in the morning late in the evening but for somebody who is a who likes to open the park and close the park i think this is a great option a value resort really is a good way to save a little bit of money and there it is there is woody and that's what i was wanting to come over here and look at as i was talking about this it's really interesting how they have this up i wonder if one time maybe five years ago or something if this wasn't up and you could get closer because i want to think i've seen pictures somewhere maybe on instagram of people like setting in his hand maybe i didn't i don't know but just want to throw that out there it's kind of sad if that is the case that we're, we're at the age now where we have to put stuff like this up but anywho there's woody and andy's actually got his name written on the bottom of the woody's boot where nobody can take it so pretty cool also it's like a bookshelf here on the back side of woody i thought that was really cool pretty awesome looking all right so that being said we kind of looked at this area i think it's time to go to the room and give you a quick little tour of my room my stay in place where i slept and lay my head and go check that out and then we'll wrap this up right down this hallway here all right here's my room this is room 9740 and we'll take a quick tour inside and uh, show you around it is a very small room but for the price point it's all good here at disney you know this is a good place to stay i think if you're into the parks and you're not going to spend a whole lot of time in your room i think this is a great spot so this uh these these rooms have been renovated over the last couple years so this place actually just recently opened up i think maybe a year ago from the time of this recording here at the end of 2023 nice and then right here we have our refrigerator have some little coffee maker right over here and they actually gave us some uh joffrey's Walt disney world resort blend coffee and right over here we have a little ice box right here we have our thermostat for the room the disney way 68 degrees I don't care when you come it seems like that's what it's always set to all right so right here is our bed for our room right here we have us a single queen bed we also have a bed right here and we'll we'll try to see how that works here momentarily this right here is definitely a knock for me uh for this room because this here is your storage area as you can see that's not a lot of storage i mean just for me and my wife we're going to make this work you have the overhead bin up here and then you have this little bit of area as you can see that is not a whole lot of storage area at all we have three drawers here one's got the bible in it placed by the gideons right here's another drawer and yet another drawer so a couple of two like me and her we're going to make this work but i think if you have a family of three or four or if there's four of you traveling together i don't know seems pretty pretty limited especially if you're staying for a week or five days or something like that you might be living out of your uh out of your suitcase a little bit so right here we have 
you know, a safe. Every, every uh, Disney resort has these. We have us a safe. My wife's already put one of her bags in there. Right here is another storage bin area there at the bottom. And now, let's take a look at this bed right here. I wanna see how this looks. So this here is actually called a Murphy bed. So uh, we're gonna pull it down now and kinda of see how this thing works and what it looks like. I've never used one of these before, but I definitely wanna give you a good review. So we're gonna see if we can make this, mecha this mechanical beast come to life. transform and there we go bada bing bada boom there we go we got a murphy bed it's pretty awesome so this is kind of what it looks like you know it's about the same size as this bed this is a queen i guess this is a queen looks almost identical really and uh that was awesome how that worked look at that thing there you go, that's a Murphy bed. A lot of space underneath the main bed. Okay, we see how, oh man, that's so cool. I didn't even check out this artwork. We got Louie, Huey, and Dewey. That's Donald's nephews. Up there rocking out. That's kind of cool. How awesome is that? What a nice surprise. And when you pull it down, the lights up there come on and actually illuminates the artwork what a great little detail for this room that is so cool all right I put the Murphy bed uh, back up that was really awesome very easy to use not heavy so just keep that in mind very easy this right here is our television that I probably won't even watch much of because I like being out moving around here at Walt Disney World and doing things but uh, this is really a cool little channel when you turn your TV on in your room. You can go to this. And this has all the parks and information. They're ours. So this is a, a good thing. You can really kind of plan your, your evening hours out anyway by using this. Seeing which one. Like if I was going to Animal Kingdom today, it closes at 8. It's like I, that I ain't done yet. Because we can go to the Magic Kingdom and it stays open to midnight. So uh, really cool right here. Disney Springs. Very fun place to go. A lot of good shopping and food, entertainment, a lot of fun. Love going to Disney Springs. And uh, at this time of year, at this recording, this is uh, like the day after Christmas. So uh, Disney's Top Through Lagoon is closed, but Blizzard Beach is open. And I'm sure there's some takers because believe it or not, it's 80 degrees today and the sun came out. So uh, yeah, that Florida weather, you just never know down here in the winter time. So uh, right up here, show you we have some plug-ins, a couple USBs. Right over here, a couple more plug-ins and USBs, very nice. Matter of fact, I wanna come over here by the telephone. And right here is our lights. And right here we have two more plug-ins and yes, two more USBs. I know it's kind of dark right there, but trust me, they're there. And I think over here, if, if I walk around this side of the bed, normally they have the same thing. Disney is really good about this, giving you plenty of plug-ins and USBs. And yep, they got your hook up right there. Okay, now for the bathroom. Yes, there's where the business will be done after eating all that good Disney food. <laughs> And then right here is kind of a shot of the bathroom. Very nice too. I like these bathrooms a lot. I've never stayed at this resort, but I have stayed at its sister resorts. And they're, they're, I've heard they're, they're always the same. They're just theme different. So right here is a shower nozzle. No rain shower here, just a regular one. But that's all, that's all good. That's all good. And then right here we have us a sink. Not a double sink at this resort. We just have the single, which is fine. We have some tissues. What do we have here? We have some bath sea salt soap. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting in here is kind of, you know, suspect. I'm gonna get it. Let's make it happen. Come on. Focus. There we go. Sea salt bath soap. There you go. Awesome. We got our tissue items, facial tissues. And then we do have an ironing board right here. And of course we have an iron. 
so that is pretty much it got your tiles and this is a room this is the room 9740 and then over here on the uh, the door before we end that they have an evacuation route which is always kind of important you know I'd always go over this stuff with your children or significant other while you're here just uh, just to know just you, you just never know it's always to be be better be safe and sorry and what do we got over here is that what I think it is, is that like Alexa or something another I don't think I've ever had one of these before it's got Mickey ears on it that's kind of cool but anyway that is the room review slash tour thank you so much if you stay here definitely put in the comment section down below if you have stayed here what do you think about these rooms all right my friends that will pretty much conclude my tour today here at all star movies almost said music because me and my wife used to come down here for years to all star music and sports but mainly music i don't know how many years in a row we came and stayed at music but it was a, it was a quite a while four or five years but every year it was the same spot you know so uh that was my all-star movies tour or review so uh if you enjoyed today's vlog please give it a thumbs up or a like i really appreciate that it helps me out so much put a comments in the section down below if you have any questions or any concerns or anything i think this is a great option if this is your first disney vacation if you're the type of person that will come down here and be in the parks a lot i think this is a great option because it is the cheapest resort you're going to find here on property you have the bus system that takes you to all the places including disney springs some world-class shopping right there and entertainment so definitely check all that stuff out and i recently have uploaded my disney spring video where i had a great time and actually went up into the balloon 400 feet above disney springs you can see all of disney world it was fantabulous it was great highly recommend that too if you enjoyed today please subscribe to the channel it helps me out keep you in the loop of my future uploads i do all kind of travel vlogs I, i'm an ap pass holder so i do come to uh, walt disney world quite regularly so yeah Whew. man i'm tired after all that all right that being said y'all please stay safe out there and may the force be with you i will see you in the next vlog Y'all take care and have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate that.